Hi, I'm Tim. I'm here with the Manufacturer Magazine to talk to high-end loudspeaker manufacturers, Bowers and Wilkins, about business intelligence. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of Bowers and Wilkins and how SAP Business Objects has helped the company to punch above its weight? BMW has been around for 45 years. Um, started here in Worthing and still here in Worthing. Um, started off in a, a, a garage, as most businesses do. Um, a gentleman called John Bowers, hence the name. Um, doing his hobby. Um, very quickly, um, the quality of the product um, became known, you know, mainly around Europe, but also in America. Um, over the next 10, 20 years, he built up his own little distribution um, chain. And the company went from strength to strength on, the, on its product, the quality of the product. In the last 15, 20 years, you know, it's exploded. Um, it's now a 120 million pound turnover company. Uh, we employ about 500 people. Uh, we are spread across 14, 15 countries around the world um, with distribution offices, manufacturing sites here in Worthing and in China. Um, as the business has grown, become more dispersed, um, the importance of accurate data and our ability to analyse and use that data has become absolutely key. Um, the use of a business intelligence solution enables us to manage um, you know, that whole business across the world in all of its formats. You are a leading player in your field, but business intelligence has traditionally often been thought of as only applicable to larger enterprises. Why was that not the case with Bowers and Wilkins? Uh, historically it was the case. Um, you know, we looked at BI solutions a few years ago and the perception was very much that they were a big thing for big organisations and that we were not in that league. Um, I have a small IT team, um, four people um, on the IT side, three people on the system side. At the time, we just did not feel we could cope with an implementation and then the ongoing running of a system like that. What came together for us a few years ago was an understanding that with the new breed of BI solutions, our infrastructure was capable you know, we already had most of the tools and the knowledge in place to enable us to put a solution in. That and in conjunction with um, an understanding of how those tools work just opened the door for us and made it, you know, got rid of that perception. You know, the perception changed from we couldn't do it to one that actually we could do this. To get the most out of business intelligence, it needs to be pervasive through all areas of the business. How has BMW managed to achieve that? Initially we identified a supply chain um, information shortfall in the business and that was our original requirement for a BI solution. To give us a view of where our products were, what the demand for those products were, etc. across the globe. That was the main driver for the initial implementation. As soon as Business Objects was in the organisation and being used by management, other departments and areas became aware of what it could do and how they could use it. The users themselves have then pr primarily driven the adoption of business objects across the organisation through sales, through quality, etc. B&W operate in numerous locations across the globe. How does SAP Business Objects cope with existing legacy systems? Our long-term aim is obviously to put in a single SAP solution across the whole group. But until you know, we get round to that, which is probably at least two years away, Business Objects enables us to get data and aggregate data across all of those global organisations to enable us to run the business as we would want it to do. We do that in a number of ways. Um, we bring data from their legacy systems into SAP, go through SAP to Business Objects. We bring data from their uh, legacy systems straight into Business Objects. And we even build separate little databases, standalone databases, which we then plug into business objects. So we have many ways of getting data from legacy systems into the business objects universe to give us the view of the world that we want. As a growing company, you're expanding into different markets. How is SAP Business Objects helping you to meet the diverse demands of these new channels? Uh, initially, we saw uh, business objects and BI as a senior management tool. My initial um, purchase was for 10 licenses um, of business objects. We were using web intelligence at that time um, and the IT team were writing reports, formatting reports and a lot of user training as well. 
What happened then was that we became aware of Explorer. Um, its self-service nature, its ease of use, um, and also the methods of access, iPhones, iPads, um, laptops, etc. At that point, the, the business just exploded in terms of BI and the want of using BI and accessing data. Um, we have a number of examples now where you know, management, line level people will go to meetings with their iPads, with their phones, and they will access data on the fly um, as opposed to taking static reports. That's what they used to do. Your business has experienced growth and with it added complexity. How did you identify SAP business objects as the right solution for your company? We've been a uh, SAP user for over 10 years now. Um, so looking for an SAP solution was an obvious starting point for us. Uh, we've been through a couple of upgrades um, over recent years with our VAR, Birchman. And in conjunction with them, a few years ago, we started to look for a BI solution. We started looking at SAP BW, got a little bit scared at the size and the complexity, and started to look at other options. What happened a couple of years ago was that Birchman came back to me and encouraged me to have another look at SAP, specifically business objects. They'd identified our requirements, they understood our requirements, and they understood the business objects offering and what options were available to us. So they encouraged me to go back and you know, have a look at business objects. That was the starting point. Eventually business objects started to tick all the, the boxes and became very viable for us to put in and away we went.